This is from 36 from OpenStax University of Physics, Chapter 8. Thurston grabs a vine hanging vertically from a tall tree when he is running at 9 meters per second. How high can he swing upward? Does the length of the vine affect this height? So this is a conservation of energy problem. And since we are not giving any information about any frictional losses or the energy that it takes to bend the vine or even the mass of the vine, um, the only things we have to consider are the initial kinetic energy of Tarsen and his final kinetic energy and potential energy. So if Tarsen's running here, and the vine is right here. He grabs the vine and the vine swings to some height. All right, so if we take any of this as a point of reference, whether it's the tip of the vine or Tarzan's midsection, what we are interested in is the change in height. So this would be the height that we will consider. So at this level, we will make u equals zero. And at this level, it would be the final value of potential energy, which will be equal to mgh. The initial value of energy will therefore be only Tarzan's kinetic energy. All right, so we have that energy is conserved. E zero equals E final. The initial kinetic energy is where all the energy is at the beginning. So it's gonna be one half MB zero squared. And that has to be equal to Tarzan's final speed. Now at the top of the trajectory, he is no longer moving in the x or at the y direction. So at the top of the swing, we expect his speed to be zero. It's going to be one half mb final squared, but we expect that to be zero. Plus, now Tarzan does acquire some potential energy, mgh. We see that the masses will cancel. And so we have one half b zero squared is equal to g h. So the height will be given by v zero squared divided by two g. If we put the numbers that were given, then the height will be equal to nine squared divided by 2 times 9.8 which is probably somewhere around 8 let's put in the calculator 9 squared is 81 divided by 2 times 9.8 Uh, so that's 4.13. I forgot about the 2 when I was doing my calculation in my head. Okay, so 4.132, so about 4.1 meters in height will be gained. Now for part B, does the length of the vine affect this height? Well, regardless of how short or long the vine is, what will change would be the path, whether it's from here to here, for a vine maybe of this length. Let's see if I can draw it better. I'm going to draw a couple circles, one big and one small, to try to illustrate the problem. So, 
let's say that's the big vine and let's say this is the case where he holds on to a small vine so that's the vine right there And so in one case, Tarzan may swing from this initial height to, say, that final height. And if I try to align this at the same starting level there, in the final case, where, or the second case, where there's a shoulder bind, he would end up swinging from that same initial height to the same final height. Because all of the energy uh, that he has at the beginning, which is kinetic, gets transformed into potential energy. And so really, it is only H that will determine at one point all that kinetic energy has transformed into potential energy. So now the, the length of the vine does not affect his height.